Good afternoon, friends and family. We're here in Vietnam, Hanoi, in the suburbs, and we have some street food. We're about to partake. It looks quite delectable. Holy, thank you very much. I should learn the language. Yeah. Oh my God, this is hot. Excuse me, Arlo, sorry. So we have some rice noodles, I believe, some condiments, chili and garlic, tofu. I'm not sure what, I think that's pork, I believe. For the non-Muslims and the Muslims will be having some vegetarian food. I'm quite excited to eat this. I hope to find some authentic pho on the streets. But if I don't, that's okay, because I had some fun in the hotel. But I'd like to have some from the streets, if I, if I do say so myself. Thank you very much. We have some Thai basil. Thank you, miss. What drink is here? I have no idea. Let's try this unknown condiment. It's barley. Barley tea. Oh no. Don't think so. We will now dig in and partake in this amazing feast. Delicious. Quite delectable. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Hey guys, here's my friend Jovi. Joven, Joven, Joven Tang. It's called Bun Cha. Bun Cha. Never heard of that? Here. Mm. It's like it tastes like home. I don't know. The pork, the warm soup with the pork, the, the crunchy pork actually, and the soft chicken patty. It all blends together to create this mixture that brings a soft, yet fulfilling feeling. And the noodles just add to that flavor because it captures, it absorbs the flavor like a sponge. When you when you eat it explodes in your mouth my friend it's it's like a flavor bomb might i say i'll be enjoying the rest of this meal here's another here's a here's a i'm not sure what is this but it resembles a sort of spring roll that's, that's that may sound really offensive to some people thank you joe but it tastes really good um you have to get some thai basil it's crazy delicious here with the meat It gives that, it gives a different kind of flavor, a different kind of tang. It's sharp, yet soft. I don't know how to describe it, but the Thai basil brings out the flavor in a more in, immeasurable, tenfold way. May we enjoy this meal that we've been given. And I thank Aiden for recording this video. Thank you, Aiden. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we are trying some egg coffee in Hanoi. Now, I've never tried this concoction of a sort but I've seen it online and it's very different to what I've seen it's separate instead of inside of one cup but I think you're supposed to scoop this inside so that's what I'll be doing and that's mm. delicious. creamy eggy I can eat the egg I'm just I'm you're about to go viral Marvin of course <laughs> I'm assuming you mix it in like this Wow, I might have done this wrong, my guys, because it's still undissolved. However, the taste combined with the costardiness and delectable yet smooth and rich, creamy, eggy concoction of a sort, it blends well with the bitter, robust, sick coffee beans, which have been blended with joy and care. It's actually really delicious. I could have this every morning. He, Mr. Wall has poured it in. He's gone the other way. I don't know wow. if that's the right way. I don't even know if, we're do, if any of us are doing the right way. I'm feeding it like an affogato. Affogato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the time. Let it just sit there. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can make it how sweet you want it. That's so true. Right, 
Okay. Thank you. Woo! Okay. All right. So you can, you can, um, you can.